Hello, it's Keith from KMA's Corner. I am sorry for the break. I had overloaded my schedule with YouTube stuff, and when I thought my work, my real job, was going to relax hour-wise, I actually booted it up for more hours. So I'm working more than I had expected, so I cannot keep the YouTube schedule I had. So I took a couple of weeks off to remind myself why I'm doing this in the first place. I was kind of stressing out a little bit, and I um, for, had forgotten my old mantra, um, something that keeps me chilled and calm, and that is to remember serenity. So I have decided to join the Serenity server. I am not leaving Athens, as you see on the screen. Athens is still number one, but there's a zero and here's a one. So I am going to do a series, a once a week series on the Serenity server. I'm going to do a once a week series on the Athens server and I'm going to do a once a week um, series on a real single player that I have already started along with the Athens. Um, all the other series I have started over the last couple of weeks are going to end. So basically you are going to be getting three videos a week because my serenity is too important. Um, not going to make videos and stress out about it. I'm in this for fun. So let's go. Um, I have yet to go on this server, so let's see what we get. Fireworks in the face. And I'm up in the tower. Uh-huh. So I'm just going to... Um, I don't really know much about the server. It seems like there's a lot of active people on here. It is 5.30 in the morning. Um, so, let's see. Welcome to Serenity. The only rules are to respect the world and its players. So don't grief, steal, cheat, or fight. Any rule breakers will be banned without warning. Pretty typical stuff. This is a semi-vanilla, oh, I like that word vanilla, server. Gameplay will be totally vanilla, however some custom plugins are used for convenience and to pre prevent griefing. Type help to see all the commands. If you have any questions, yeah, yeah. Want to start at a random location, random TP. Okay, I'm gonna do that. Um, what's it say? Newbie safe house. What's it? Oh, so that's where I am, I guess. The newbie safe house. It sounds like my cat's freaking out in the other room. Serenity, Gordy. I tell you, Serenity. I named uh, Gordy after the bass player in the band Fish. And by the way, I had most of my cats named after members of Fish because about 10, 15 years ago, I was really into that band. Okay. More rules. I'm not going to really, um... I'm not going to, um... Really show spawn. I'm just going to teleport someplace. And start my world. Random... TP. And hopefully this will bring me to a good place. In the middle of a desert. I got some cactus! I give it up. Uh-huh. Let's go up on a hill. Um, this is just like starting anew. Okay. We got trees over there. Do we have trees over... What type of trees? Those are savannah trees too. How ironic, all my worlds are going to be based on a savanna right now. Um, oh, good. So I don't know if this is actually somebody's location for builds and stuff. 
I should really... Hmm. There's something over there that doesn't look real. But anyways. I am gonna get myself set up. Ready to go. And... Do what people do when they begin a Minecraft world. Seen a gazillion times. So not really that interesting. Probably for you. But I will be back. With some plan in mind. I'm just... Is that a lighting glitch? Oh, we got cows. Okay. I am gonna go. And I'll be back when I'm set up. Alas! Hey guys, I am back. I've been doing a little bit of work on the server, trying to get myself established. So of course we got the great old mine. Yes. And I've got some farms going. Um, see, the very important farms too. Because everybody needs cocoa, right? You need the cocoa. How else are you going to eat cookies if you don't have the cocoa? So, we got to make sure we get plenty of cocoa. Because I like cookies. They do crap for Minecraft, but I like cookies. Then we got, uh... Scary noises. We got the vines going. Yes. We like vines. But, um... We got the basic farms over here that you need to get going in this world in Minecraft in general. So we got the wheat, we got the uh, paper growing, uh, the reeds, because, and I don't have an exit out of here yet. Um, because you need to do trading, paper tradings and stuff. We got the two, the melons, not fully grown out yet. The moos, the baas, and the oinks. Which, you know, we all need to uh, have those for some reason or other. Well, we need the leather, at least. Yeah, we need wool, and maybe I'll make that into, like, the different colored wool farm eventually. No, no rainbow puke on this server. Um, and pigs, of course. Then I'm just, I found a village um, that was on unrated for some reason on the server I have a hard time jumping up on see these things there we go I may actually have to put in doors here um, I found a, a village and I stole some crops don't worry I replanted them for the villagers and some of those villagers will be kidnapped and made into a breeding facility over here um, so I have uh, been doing a lot of work as you can see I'm in an acacia area which is not the best area, especially if you're thinking Serenity. So I went out, um, I got myself some jungle, some spruce, some normal oak. Oak, of course the acacia. I'm like, what type of tree is that? That's a fern tree. We don't... I was getting uh, something in the jungle or someplace and I, I hit a whole bunch of ferns. What type of tree? Oh, we're missing birch. Let me see if it's down here. There's the dark oak and the birch. I got grabbed a whole bunch of wood. I've used a whole bunch of wood because uh, fences are so freaking expensive nowadays. And I got a lot of fences going on here. I haven't protected the area yet. There's a certain command code on this uh, server where you can type in the protection code and um, it will protect the, uh, it from being attacked or used by other people. But, um, you know, I'm going to, for right now, I'm not going to protect anything. Let's see what happens. If my stuff starts getting fucked with, yeah, I will protect stuff. But, um, so far, so good with the server. And I just wanted to come on here. Um... I have found a place to... Oh, I gotta make a cactus farm. I do have some cactuses. Yes! That would be today's project. Um, there is a place about a hundred something... Um, oh, that reminds me. I gotta show you this, this also. 
there's a place over there that I'm gonna build my house that's not gonna be my house area that's just gonna be the farming area and I will most likely protect the house area more than the farm area because a farms a farm you can always get that stuff again um, but you can't really see it yet it's in a nice flower plane I don't have any food on me so I'm not gonna jump around too much no jumping around but here um, it goes down there's a uh, spider spawner there and this one as I'm still not supposed to be jumping around there's a cave spider spawner so I have the normal spawner and the cave spawner here and um, I'm thinking of doing something with that but not right away of course but you see over here that hill uh, that's a flower forest and there's a nice little cove right in this area with water and stuff that's where I'm gonna end up building my home so I'll make a pathway from my farms because I'm so sick of dealing with savannah stuff that I, I don't want to be living in another savannah that would mean my single-player worlds in the savannah um, and I just don't want another savannah place because that's just not right and when I teleported out of spawn I teleported over there so before I go um, not for the episode but for this little clip I wanted to I wanted to eat something real quick haven't gotten my food situation figured out completely yet so I, I'm eating bread <laughs> good old bread see I got the bread and water going Oh, I'm the only person on the server right now um, a lot of the people on here don't want to be on videos so I'm recording these things when I wake up in the morning before I go to work because uh, as you see nobody's on but last night when I was playing there was about 13 people on here so that was really cool getting to know some of the people on here um, a lot of childish activities but there's some grown-ups too like me even though I'm childish too um, so this is why I decided to record this clip I am gonna start enchanting some stuff with low level enchants um, okay because why not right I'm not gonna enchant that let me just put a little enchant on my armor so I think I had um, a good three four hours of playing on here yesterday well, I don't want blast why are these all twos hmm. yeah well I guess we'll take the protection there Who do we want blast protection yeah, I'll take a blast oops oh well, yeah I'll take it on the pants yeah because you, you don't want big blast to happen in your pants you want them off for that but just in case we need the protection just in case a blast does happen in your pants so let me put those pants on before I uh, blast away <laughs> um, let's see I think uh, yeah I mean there's just a typical farm down here I haven't really found too much diamond yet since the only stuff going on here is that I got like 10 diamonds left, but uh, the only other thing I can think of, maybe I want a diamond um, axe because I got to grow some cheese and regrew, renew my wood supply. I did have probably 10 stacks of logs that I've used up in the making of these fences, and that is my first pumpkin. You can shoot the first pumpkin, be happy. Can I actually hit it? Oh, nope. No hit on the pumpkin. Yeah, that was close. Close enough. So, um, I think my next thing to do uh, is I am going to... I have no way of getting to spawn. Give me that XP. Thank you. And so, I am at 5,500 and 5,400. Spawn is at zero, zero. So I have a shitload way to get back to spawn. So I think what I'll do if it doesn't take too long is um, I'm going to go 
to spawn. I'm gonna get some obsidian, obviously, before I go to spawn. I'm gonna go to spawn, um, figure out my coordinates here, go into the nether, I guess there's another hub on here, and uh, make my way so I can get to spawn when people are on, because um, all the people that were on last night, the 13, 14 of them, uh, they were all near spawn, and I was stuck way out here and they're like hey does anybody have this and I'm like yeah I do but I'm 6,000 blocks away and so forth so I'd rather be able to help people out so I need a good way to get back and forth from spawn and um, that is what I'm gonna do so uh, till then I'll be back I don't know um, if I'm gonna show you the tunnel or not or what because you know I don't like the nether too much and I'm gonna be doing a lot of nether cutting and I think I'm gonna save my diamond axe and make a whole bunch of iron stuff and iron away and yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll see we'll see what happens so um, I'm gonna come back a long time for my short time for you and we'll figure out what I'm gonna do and that will probably be it for the episode so enjoy hello I am back I have wandered many many blocks and I have found myself and world spawn oh yes I have but I am not gonna show you world spawn right now because I'm gonna end up building out here one day and I have plenty of time to show you then spawn but instead I am gonna show you Ooh, let me get away from that. I'm gonna show you how I am getting back to my place. I'm still like a, odd and amazed with the different things around here. Um, I guess that's some. This is the main hub, and there's been a gazillion people on here. Shh. The sound of that thing, and I put my name up here. Is that? Oh, okay. So to get to where I am, we go through. And I put my name here. Cammy's Corner. That's me. So um, this journey is even close to a thousand blocks in the nether. So you can enjoy this with me as I speed it up and play some music. So enjoy. And we'll get back to my place. So that my friends is how long it takes for me to walk from spawn which is at 00, zero to 5500 5500 basically um, it's a pretty the tunnel is um, used by a few different people as you saw there and not that I'm not a sharing type but I do think it would be kind of cool to have a tunnel underneath the um, 
the higher level of the nether so you can actually see fortresses and stuff. So I'm thinking of making a glass um, rail cart system. Maybe 20, 30 blocks lower than that tunnel, which was probably at 110 um, height level in the nether, which is above where most of the action happens. But I think it would be kind of cool to make a tunnel in there. Yes, I'm still trying to get some cocoa for my cookies. Um, to So when I take the minecart through the nether to the spawn, I can see all the activity in the nether. And there's a ton of fortresses. They've already been raided and stuff. But um, And I can't believe it. Some people actually destroyed spawners in these fortresses. Um, I'm gonna have to go beat some people up, but um, There's got to be fortresses out in my area that hasn't been um, Attacked yet and uh, Stolen from So maybe I will work on that in the next few episodes of um, Making a better nether tunnel but I hate the nether, and I don't want to be working in the nether, and I need a, probably, I was thinking about this in my head, um, the tunnel is ultimately going to be about 700 blocks long, and I'm going to need probably 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, at least 8 uh, things of glass for each block so if the tunnel is 700 blocks long and I need 8 pieces of glass for each block that's 5600 pieces of glass um, so that is a lot it's a big project I haven't completely decided if I'm going to follow through with that project or if it's just an idle thing right now but how oh, re re really guys oh I'm gonna have to move that chest and that chest is full I'll let you trample on my crops right now because this is a chill serenity place and I don't want to have to uh, yeah mm -hmm. and my uh, before I go on this episode I know it's just starter episode which is usually kind of blase um, and I've had a lot of those lately so I've been starting and ending series like crazy lately oh I am lagging out there we go um, I am going to make a, I've decided I am going to make a pagoda, pagoda over in that area where the flower place is, and that's going to be the, my home, it's just the size, um, the one I've got mapped out is pretty big, and I don't know if I want to build something that big, it's about 30 stacks of blocks, um, so it is pretty big. That means I got a lot of wood to be cutting. So I guess I'm going to have to make a iron axe. But I am going to go. Oh, as you see, I got everything enchanted. I think I did that on camera, didn't I? Short-term memory, first thing to go, fellas. But anyways, um, I'm going to go. And maybe next week we can work on the pagoda. pagoda finish up these farms a little bit. Uh get some more stuff planted get some more cows going I'm still running really low on food as a matter of fact the reason why I didn't run in that tunnel is because that piece of bread is basically it I don't want to kill all my cows and sheep and stuff and I don't have any extra weed around I used it all for bread for my 5,000 block journey to spawn in the overworld because I don't like to just walk I like to run everywhere even though I just walked back from the nether. That was just to make sure I had enough food to make it. 
But anyways, enough with this goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Have a great day. It's Keith. I will see you next week on the Serenity server where chill things always happen. Chill, 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 chill. No hyper diaper here. I don't know even know if I want to see a hyper diaper. That sounds kind of gross. But anyways, have a good one. Goodbye. <laughs>